Ever wondered why some Lego bricks float, while others sink faster than your homework excuse? Let's dive into the wild world of Lego buoyancy. Scene 1. Lego pirates toss bricks off their ship to see which ones survive the shark-infested bathtub. Scene 2. A Lego scientist, armed with a mood a rubber ducky, tests bricks in a beaker, only to get splashed by a floating brick tsunami. Here's the science. Whether a Lego brick floats depends on density, how much stuff is packed into a space. If a brick's density is less than water, it floats. If it's more, it sinks. Most Lego bricks are mostly air inside, making them less dense than water. But cram that brick full of tiny Lego treasure, or your little brother's marbles, and down it goes. Even shape matters. A big, flat Lego plate floats better than a chunky brick because it spreads out the weight. So next time you're building a Lego boat, remember, keep it light, keep it hollow, and you might just stay afloat. Otherwise, you'll need a Lego lifeguard on duty. And that's why some bricks are the real floaters of the plastic sea.